Today is daily cyber number 46. Today's gonna be an interesting video. This is actually my third attempt to do this video just because I find myself ranting on. So I'm gonna keep this short. I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple, uh, under five minutes. So first and foremost, uh, I don't know if you've heard, Lin uh, Kali Linux has come out with a certification. Uh, they're actually launching on Jan uh, June 5th, so not too far away. Uh, they're, I think it's at DEF CON. They're actually having their course there. But if you want to do it online, there's a free ebook you can grab. You can download it. Uh, I think you can download. It. I'm not sure, but there's a free ebook. Take the you can read it. Take the their program and then write a certification. Uh, I think it was with per Pearson View, and then you can write the certification and then you can be certified as a uh, with Kali Linux. Now the one thing that they are very specific about telling people is that they're not going to teach you how to do penetration testing. They're just teaching the tools that comes with Kali Linux. I'm going to make sure that you know it inside and out. So what happens is when you go to that next level of doing the, uh, say for example, the o OSCP, which is the Offensive Security Professional, you know the tools inside and out. So then what happens is when you start to learn, you know, some of the strategies, you know, and I don't, I haven't taken OCP, so I'm just going to kind of shoot there. But when you're talking about, you know, penetrating router switches, hubs, websites, whatever that may be, Windows machines, you know the tools a lot better when it comes to a Linux. So really excited about that coming out. As for myself, things I'm working on, cybersecurity, uh, uh, CompTIA Security Plus, I should be writing that very soon. I'm just uh, reviewing everything right now, and it's coming together pretty quickly. I've got my OSI model, my ports there, just to memorize them, just make sure I remember them, because if you don't use them, you'll lose them, and I'm sure a lot of people have to look things up now because it's not stuff they use commonly. Uh, Python, I've been studying that quite a bit. That's been uh, pretty crazy. Uh, variables, if st if and if statements, else statements, uh, what else? Just all these different things that I'm learning have just been crazy, uh, and trying to really kind of appreciate the amount of the complexity that Python has because I mean. I'm just learning just how to write simple stuff like hello world and things like that and just kind of go through that process of, you know, formulas and math and, and this is just a small bit of what Python can do. So I'm really excited about taking my next course, which teaches about um, so how to create a social network. It's through Udacity. So if you want to check that out, I'll have the links of some of the things I'm talking about. So Udacity is going to be one of them uh, next and I'll have the one for the Kali Linux. Other than that, uh, just the psychology, uh, what's going on personally with me. I think one thing I've been working on while I'm doing this and since my family members passed is personal development. And it's been a few months, right? And I'm just keep doing it, keep growing and keep doing it more and more because I find there's been blocking factors and challenges. And I mean, I talk to you about this because if you're in IT, if you're in cybersecurity, anything, you know a lot of times you're in your room on your own. It could be your office, it could be your basement, it could be your you know, your computer room, whatever that may be. You're there alone and it's yourself, right? And you're going through this mental challenge of the sense of uh, there might be some frustrations in the sense of, oh, this is not working, this is not happening, why am I doing this? And then you kind of go through this uh, cycle of pain, right? And you realize, oh, like, you know, this is just, this just sucks, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's kind of one of the areas that I've been in a few times as I'm going through this. And then what happens is through Tony Robbins and through through listen, listening to him and understanding like the pain and pleasure and your psychology of, you know, we move away from pain and towards pleasure. Well, what happens is for me studying at one point was so painful and doing all this was so painful. So the pleasure for me was going to watch TV and putting my books away and not studying. But then I realized my psychology, I had to switch that around that. It is fun to learn, and I'm sure a lot of you IT guys love this. Right? You, you can learn and develop and play with technology, and you can do it for hours and hours. And I can, but there's certain points where I'm learning something and just not clicking, not coming through. It's not working out, and you just get like, ah, why? So with that being said, I've kind of worked on my psychology that it's more painful if I don't do it, if I don't learn, if I don't spend the time because... I won't be able to work it. I won't be able to make the money. I won't be able to help the people that I want to help. You know, all these pain things. So I got to get it, get it down. If it, I need to take a break, I need to step away. I got to really enjoy the challenge. So that's kind of what I've been working on. Just wanted to give you guys a recap. Uh, give you actually a recap because I know uh, you've been following me and watching me. I really appreciate it. 
So we're up at the five minute mark. I always say like I wanted to keep it short. Uh, that's really kind of all that's going on with me. I'm just going to keep studying, keep working away, and just let you know what I'm working on. So just remember, before I finish the video, software is hackable. Being connected is vulnerable. Make sure you think about that each and every day. And I'll see you next video.